What's really nice about fishing these little brooks is when you come across bird life. Like if you see a couple mallards floating down the, down the stream, um, looking for some protection, looking for some food. Beautiful colors, the green head of the drake uh, walking by, seeing, seeing how it looks when you, when you walk by and they take off and the water splatters. And it's just a beautiful sight watching them fly away. You know, it just adds to the whole environment. And there's all kinds of different birds you'll see. You never know what you're going to see around the corner. Sometimes it's hawks and owls and, and other types of birds. Sometimes it's just the, uh, the rock doves uh, or morning, morning doves. Uh, it could be the, the robins. Not only are you enjoying the fish and looking for, the, looking for fish underneath the, underneath the stream, but you're enjoying the bird life, um, all the activity that exists on the shoreline. Fish love worms, there's just no doubt about it. There's a huge bullfrog that jumped in here. If I could catch him, he's, he's monstrous. I, haven't, I don't see, didn't see where he went though, but he's probably on shoreline somewhere. I'm gonna go down to this current down here, Patrick. Okay. You stay right there. You sure? Well, unless I have any luck, we'll see what happens. A nice brookie. Oh man, a lot of stuff in here. Look at the blue on him. I can't believe I picked him out of that stuff. That would put him right by a stump. Wow. Neat. Now, if you're willing to experiment and look for these little streams, they're around. They're everywhere. You just got to get yourself into this little jungle. And uh, you can catch a lot of fish. Next time I come through here, I'll bring some clippers to kind of create some an opening and take care of some of this trash that I see from the big floods that we had. It's just natural. Uh, nobody comes out here. I don't, I don't think these fish have seen a, a worm or, and a fishing rod in a while. So, But it's endless if you can maneuver through the stuff. Uh, I recommend. There's all kinds of different types of fishing. There's ocean fishing. There's nice river fishing like we did in the Westfield River with fly rods. Uh, there's lake fishing like Lake Massapog fishing. There's ponds like Borderland to fish in. But one of my all-time favorites, probably because I've been doing it since I was eight years old, is coming to these little brooks and getting and putting yourself in the middle of this, all this plant life, this beautiful little stream, the colorful fish, great bird life, frogs, snakes, everything. A lot of beautiful creatures that live in this and uh, it's good exercise because it's not easy to get here. It's, it's going to be a long walk back home for me. But I really appreciate you tuning in and I hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time on Outdoors with Rick Ripley.